What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to do a review on a Tanix TX3 Max Android TV box. My friends over at Tanix sent this box to me and asked me to do an honest review, so I'm going to do an honest review. I've never actually used one of these. This is the first for me. So, we're both going to be learning at the same time on this. We got our power supply unit. Bam. I don't know if you can make that out. And this is the Tanix box. Sleek. It's got the name brand on it. SD card slot. Um, looks like it has two USB ports. Not sure. Two or three. Point oh. This is intriguing. It has SPDIF. AV. A plug-in spot for Ethernet, which is much needed nowadays. Um, it does have wireless too, of course. Here's your HDMI and your power. And that's the gist of the box. Very simple, elegant, pretty sleek. And, you know, one thing that a lot of people probably don't care about, but I do. I love that it has a clock in the front. You can't see it until you plug it up, of course. But it has a clock. And that's kind of neat to me. Like, I'm kind of old school. I remember back when everything, every cable box, everything had a clock on it. So, to me, it's pretty sweet to have that clock. So, that's the box. Comes with an HDMI cable. Basic quality. Little remote. Let's get this puppy out. Pretty basic, but not bad. Yep, two triple A's. Buttons feel solid, they're not cheap. Home menu back, number. Oh, this is kind of neat. Has a mouse function. I'm not sure whether. This controls the mouse, or it has an air mouse. We will find out. And your back button. So this is actually kind of a sweet little remote. And we get some paperwork. Thank you for choosing Tanix devices. In order to make you satisfied with our service, we will provide a 12 month warranty from the date of purchase. If you have any problems, please feel free to contact us by email to get full help. And that's pretty cool. You get a one year warranty with it. Not bad at all. Overall, it sounds pretty good. Nice little remote. I'm actually surprised by the remote. It's actually kind of sweet. And I do like the clock on the front of the 10 Xbox. So, that's the unboxing. Let's hook it up and see what this puppy will do. Welcome back to Kelly Tech. All right, this is my review for the Tanix TX3 Max Android TV box. First thing you should know about this box is that it's not a plug-in and you're ready to roll type of box. Now, when you first get this, 
you can plug it in and you're going to get YouTube, you're going to get Netflix, and you're going to get Chrome. And then that's all that's really going to work from the get. So you're going to need to know how to use these types of boxes in order to get you know full enjoyment out of this box. So Alice UX is pretty much it's Cody. So if you like Cody and you know how to program Cody, you're gonna love this box. Yeah, they can call it TV Center, they can call it Alice UX, but as you see, it is Cody. And it's, you know, you gotta set it up to your own liking. But let's go through and check out the interface here. So, here's your settings. You know, this was all customizable. The only thing that was set up was settings. And then I put in App Installer, File Browser, Play Store, Aptoid TV, and Update. Because Tanix actually updates their products. And that's more than I can say for a lot of other budget boxes out there. For me, on this box, Aptoid TV was the only way to go. Play Store, I had a lot of problems. Aptoid worked out for me. So here is just basically an app drawer. And here's your home screen. So, and to the left here, if you press left, you can fill that up with whatever's running in the background and hit that garbage can. It all goes away and you get full speed out of your box. Like I said, Aptoid TV was my go-to on this box and it runs great. It's basically your Google Play Store. And you want to put some games on here. You know feel free it's a bunch of other apps it's a good program now with this box you might actually have to have certain versions of the app to get it to work and that can be a pain so here is cat mouse and cinema HD these are your totally free no ads no BS apps these are hard to come by nowadays and cat mouse is pretty new so i'm going to run through and we're going to we're going to do these apps really quick quick as i can so agents of shield check that out i just watched the last episode today and i'm bummed it's over but it's over Just to show you guys that it does work. Pick an episode. Hit play. Yeah. They tried to do a lot of uh, superhero TV shows and I have to say that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was the best one out of the bunch. They had Flash and Arrow and all kinds of different ones, but S.H.I.E.L.D. killed it. It was good. I'm going to miss it. R.I.P. Alright, so we got one here. Let's click it and see if it works. This is a newer app, so I don't know how stable it is. I have used it a couple times. Previously on Marvel's Agents yep, of Shield. and it's working good. Simple. I have to blur it out, of course, for obvious reasons, but it's working good. So, Cat Mouse works. Alright, let's go to Cinema HD. Just to show you that it works. I'm going to do this as fast as I can, guys. I know this is taking a while. 
We can go to the 100. Uh, pick a season. Yeah, hit play. Oh, wow. A lot more than I thought. <laughs> Uh, hmm. All right, let's try this super video here. Yep. Yep, picture quality is good. Everything looks good. things start getting slow you can always clean it up so now that we've done cap mouse and the cinema we can look on to the paid subscriptions Disney works great now on this box you know you got to use you know your air mouse or whatever kind of mouse you got the remote that comes with it does have a mouse built in. Um, let's just go with something quick. Pinocchio. Pinocchio. And just to show you that it works. Here we go. There's your picture. Works. So let's try to check out Full Moon. Full Moon is a old school horror movie app. And you either know it or you don't. But it does work rather well. Actually, this app works better than most on this box for some odd reason. And you're going to get Puppet Master. Old school. But as you can see, it is working. So let's check out Hulu. Um, the interface on Hulu has always been goofy to me. try anything right now safe watch movie I mean it plays good it's just the interface is just so goofy and there you go as you can see it's working I'm just gonna back on out of here do we got out of the paid subscriptions we have prime prime video works good on here so we can let's see death warrant and what's a pr pretty cool little button up here free to me with you can click that and it only shows you Amazon Prime movies which is awesome so you're not searching through and think you found something cool and then you can't watch it so and watch now you are under 
As you can see, it is working flawlessly. Wish I could show you guys the picture quality. Man, it's, it's just copyright protection and all that. And we have Tubi, which is your free service, 100% free, 100% legal. It has uh, ads, but it's totally worth it. They're short ads, and you get to watch your movie. The other day I watched Head of State on here, and I was cracking up. It does work well on this box. So, let's see. Anything in here? Hmm. National security. Just hit the play button. And you're going to get a commercial. And then the movie will start. I believe you get a commercial first. Oh, no, nope, just started the movie. But works good. It's totally worth it. Like, regular TV has so many commercials, and they're so long. Like, these commercials are like, the longest one would be 30 seconds. So, Tubi, not bad. TV Mate. This is what I use for my IPTV. Because paying for cable is stupid. And this app is great. I really recommend it. I can't really show you anything. Copyright protection. But wonderful, wonderful app. And it works really, really good on this box. Um, as far as gaming goes. Um, yeah, you're not going to get a whole lot out of this for gaming. I got... little Pac-Man game. You can actually play this with the remote that comes with the box. It's actually entertaining. And you just press up, down, left, right with your remote. It's actually a pretty clever game. Oh, and I got my butt handed to me. So, and we have Super Retro 16, which plays um, Super Nintendo games. You can get uh, Retro 8, which will play Nintendo games. So it will do some emulation uh, I wouldn't push it past PlayStation 1 that's probably the limit here for emulation um, the best game I think you're gonna play on this would be Asphalt 8 that's probably the best that can you know this box can handle um, let's see And very easily, you can hook up through Bluetooth uh, Xbox 360 remote. So pretty cool. And it plays well too. It's not glitchy and stupid. And yeah, I'm not the best, but. <laughs> But it does play well. And go back and make it run smooth again. Get rid of all those apps running in the background. And you have your YouTube 
which works great. It works really good on this device. <laughs> I can't believe they're going to do another Bill and Ted. But, yep. YouTube works good. Play Store I had some issues with. Seemed like everything I tried just didn't want to work. That's why I ended up using Aptoid TV. Netflix works great. Just... You're only going to get like 480p. It looks better than 480p, but from what everybody keeps telling me, it's 480p. And as you can see, I have been using the mouse a lot, so a mouse is a must on this box. And I can't show you the quality, unfortunately. It does take a minute, but once you let it sit and buffer and straighten out, it looks pretty good. It's very, very watchable. And here's your Chrome. Good browser. It works really well, actually. You know, you got. Of course, you have to have mouse, but um, it works really well. I like it a lot. So. We can go to settings. A little bit to talk about in here. For my uh, internet, I just plugged up a cord. But it does have 2.4 Wi-Fi. does not have the 5.0. So that, that's kind of a bummer on the 5.0, but 2.4 does work. Um... Bluetooth works really good. It was simple to hook up my uh, Xbox 360 remote through here. Very easy. Droid settings. This is where it gets interesting. Um, display is pretty good options. Audio. It has great audio options. Just, yeah, it's pretty good. give you an idea I like you uh, pretty cool power definition power key definition pretty neat and this is really 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 cool and this is your root switch you know press of a button you can root it and press of a button you can unroot it so that is pretty cool and of course device preferences will take you into what you're used to seeing um, and I have developer options open of course and USB debugging is on um, just to show you what this thing is running TX3 Max version 9 so, storage, 16 gigabyte, I mean I got this thing loaded down pretty pretty good, and I still got 8 gigs available, so that, that's really good, you're only using half, that's, that's really good. So, not a bad little box. It's not blazing fast. It's not plug and play easy to use. But if you love Cody, you're gonna love it. 
if you know how to install these apps and run these Android boxes that are a little bit different than your typical Android TV you're gonna love this box it's cool this box is 35 bucks on Amazon you're not gonna get a better deal than that on an Android box if you're interested I'll leave a link in the description below I hope this video helped you guys out if it did like and subscribe and as always, have a tech day.